Did this guy just like sit down and just want to draw the wildest building and like include every thought of the Bible he could possibly think of? How long do they hang on the wall? Yeah, three years. Three years? Wow. Uh, <laughs> three years. Does it taste like pork or beef? Pork side? Pork side, that's what it is. It's like the side of the pork. Fantastic hospitality at Pessoa. Check them out. You're in Barcelona. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. Thank you for watching The Rare Network. We know 90% of you are new to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below to see our videos as they come out. Hit that thumbs up button and comment as well. Really helps with the YouTube algorithms. Thanks, YouTubes. All right, so we decided to run some errands today. Got the Project Catalyst posters here from the print shop. Just so happened to be in an area where there's this extravagant drill. Looks amazing. Obviously one of the cooler things to see here in Barcelona, without a doubt. And it was very serendipitous. Got some pizza, saw it on the map. Now we're here. Yeah, so that was super cool to just gaze up at the, that building and start to learn the history. Started in 1882, it was unfinished by Gaudi, who I've actually heard of. So now we gotta look up the other Gaudi buildings and possibly add those to you know Saturday's agenda to go check out because they're insane to look at. It's pretty wild. Is it like a one family did it or something? Yeah. Did this guy just like, sit down and just want to draw the wildest building and like include every thought of the bible he could possibly think of in a building did he did he draw the bible as a building i think that's what that is i think there's more to it it's really sweet it's crazy that it is not finished after over 100 almost 50 years it's wild pretty excited about a jamon and cervezas yes my man thank you salute Peace. All righty. Bread. Okay. Amazing. It's on. Ooh, that's a fire. A little sandwich. Super good. Unbelievably flavorful. The cheese is like intense. What's on the bread? The is bread like soaked vinegar? in salsa, it's great. A little olive oil, maybe a little bit of like fresh tomato on there, like a, they smashed a tomato on there and some olive oil, toasted the bread real nice. Perfect cuts of ham, like really thin one side, it gets a little thicker as you go. Fire. Dude, it's, it's got kind of like an oily texture to it and just a great flavor, almost like an umami earthy a little ham. Mm. It's shaved so thin that it really just dissipates yeah. in your mouth. Like if it were any thicker, I could see it would be bad. Like you wouldn't want to chew through it. You know what I mean? It's definitely meant to be eaten, sliced as thin as possible. And our man in here is just crushing it. I mean, this is just heaven to me. A little salty flavor. How many mm. plates of these have we had on this trip so far? Mm. Four or five, six. At least four or five. <laughs> but this has got to be the best one, to be honest. Like, this place is, this is top notch. This is the entire place. It's I'm so like excited we just walked up on this. Shout out Felipe, Pablo, and Anna. Stop by this family run restaurant here. This is absolutely amazing. Soa. What is the name? Prisoa. Definitely right get that here, name. Um... We're right by the thing, by this Basilica Sandcastle that's not finished yet. <laughs> it's right by the La Sagrada. What did we get and how much was it? It's an entire plate of cheeses, two cheeses, I believe, an entire plate of ham, an entire plate of bread with the garlic and fresh tomato schmear on there, and two beers for, what was it, 25? 25 euros, I mean, <laughs> got it, ship it, give me two. But how long do they hang on the wall? Yeah, three years. Three years? 
This is the meat of pork. This of pork. pork. Meat. Yes. Like solomillo. Very Cook nice. Medium. Cooked medium. Thank Ooh, you, man. Thank, thank you. you. The bread's warm. A lot of flavor. I don't even know what to compare it to, to be honest. But it's delicious. Does it taste like pork or beef? Pork side? Pork side. That's what it is. It's like the side of the pork. It doesn't necessarily taste like pork. Really? It kind of looks like steak. Doesn't taste like steak. I prefer this. Really strong words. We'll actually figure this out here. It might be too full. This is like a perfect amount of salt in the olive oil with the bread is actually really good. It's like a pork, like steak piece. Like it's a little less fattier, but really, really good. You know, like it's um, nice in a small bite here. I feel like something I would fry up at a Korean barbecue and throw in a piece of lettuce or something. So with the bread, it's fire. Almost like a little steak sandwich, to be honest. Absolutely amazing. See what Wes thinks about his. That's a great. I thought that was fire. So, um, got a little uh, on the house dish here. Just wiped out two plates of the, the other stuff. The whole dessert. Dessert. <laughs> All right. I'm now full. Are you? That was great. Nice. Fantastic hospitality at Priscilla. Check them out. You're in Barcelona. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. That was a fire walk into just yo. Know, some of the best things come unplanned, huh? It's wild. Some of the best things come unplanned. All of the best things come unplanned. Thank you for watching The Rare Network. We know 90% of you are new to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below to see our videos as they come out. Hit that thumbs up button and comment as well. Really helps with the YouTube algorithms. Thanks, YouTubes.